Hi, I'm Dr. Murphy Maston, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. So acne is a very common condition that most people probably equate to a dermatologist treating. Um, it's a very important condition. I think that it has significant implications for someone's psychosocial health. And overall, um, cosmetic uh, disfigurement can occur if it's not appropriately treated early, if it's significant. Um, about 80% of uh, adolescent uh, aged people are, are affected by acne, and that continues to affect about 20 to 30% into adult life. It's not uncommon for um, people to develop acne in their 20s or 30s, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, ultimately, it's an abnormality in the hair follicle and the oil glands that are associated with it, and there's multiple factors that contribute to acne, including what I call sticky skin, where the skin doesn't mature appropriately and creates a clog in the pore, and then ultimately there may be overproduction of oil, not in all cases, but in some, and that ultimately gets uh, built up behind that clog, as you want to call it, in the hair follicle. And then there's also a bacterial component, uh, and that can cause inflammation, especially if that clog builds up and it ruptures underneath the skin, the immune system becomes activated um, related to seeing materials that should not be in that area. And uh, that was where you would see inflammation or pus bumps or pain or hardness to the acne lesions. And that ultimately is inflammation that you're seeing that can lead to scarring. I would recommend that they initially see their primary care provider or um, physician. And there are multiple over-the-counter products that have good evidence, including salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide washes uh, that can be trialed. Adapalene is also an over-the-counter uh, medication that can be trialed. Um, and those all have great evidence and can be helpful in treating mild to moderate acne. Um, and ultimately though, I would say that if I could see somebody in the moderate stage every time and catch things before they progressed, I would be very excited about that because really what I wanna do is prevent scarring and other things that are much harder than treat than the acne itself that can last a lifetime for somebody that may have been just affected with acne in their adolescent years and teen years and early life. I do see older individuals develop acne, um, 40s and 50 years of age. Um, that could deal with that and uh, I would say that the treatments are commonly um, quite similar uh, to their younger counterparts um, but it, it can be quite frustrating and I think that's something that people oftentimes uh, think should go away after they've passed a certain point of their life but it is not uncommon and sometimes it can be confused for things like rosacea or other skin conditions uh, to where they think they're treating acne but they're not and that can be a little bit different in the way that we approach their treatments so I think if there's any question in diagnosis or if there's um, inadequate response to prior treatments uh, or more mild treatments, then ultimately that would be a great time to see your dermatologist. Uh, there's multiple treatment options for acne, uh, whether it be creams or um, oral antibiotics or other pills that can regulate the hormonal aspect of acne. Um, in addition to that, there are multiple medications such as um, topical vitamin A derivatives called retinoids, which are a wonderful um, skincare product in itself uh, that can help to assist with acne. There are also oral forms of that called isotretinoin or Accutane, as it's more commonly known. And I would say that's the gold standard by which we treat acne, and it's a wonderful drug um, if used appropriately and safely. And I would encourage anybody that has concerns about severe acne or nodular cystic acne where there are deeper lesions that hurt or painful or hard, uh, that they consider seeing their dermatologist to discuss that option. Uh, we'd like to prevent scarring before it develops. I would encourage anybody with skin care concerns to reach out to us at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. We're trained and capable of handling complex medical dermatology, including rashes. We specialize in skin cancer, uh, screenings and evaluations and management. If you have any concerns, you can contact us as stated at 417-328 4500 or you can reach out to your local primary provider or physician for a referral.